Hey guys, Pedro V here with a new video. I hope you are all having a good day despite everything going on and I know not everything is going as we want but we will have to remain strong and vigilant and that's why I'm going to show you part of the programming so you can really see what is taking place and how it will be done. That it taught us to, to appreciate people, you know, and not take anything for granted. And let's hope this doesn't happen ever again. It's the dream on the horizon, a world without masks, where you glide through the airport or sit down to dinner wherever you want. The question now is, will you need a so-called vaccine passport to get there? Proof that you've had the shot. Some experts we say have it doesn't have to. Medicines right now, and I call them a cure. I went into the hospital a week ago, I was very sick, and I took this medicine, and it was incredible. It was incredible. I, w I could have walked out the following day. One of the things is that I think that uh, the administration deserves some credit getting this off the ground with Operation Warp Speed. We are also learning the drug was developed using cells from an aborted fetus. Jean Marie Nacer is a nurse in Boca Raton who says she is not getting a vaccine for COVID. I've looked at the science, I've studied what they have put forth in their studies and their warnings, their precautions and the side effects and I am not comfortable um, to say that this is something that would be safe for myself. They flat out admit that they didn't do the full study. They haven't provided that information and that they say they'll follow up for 24 months. According to the hospital, the workers experienced tingling, elevated heart rates. The hospital says that pausing the vaccinations will allow them to better understand what may have caused these reactions. Flushing and shortness of breath 10 minutes after receiving the shot. Now it's important to note that worker had absolutely no history of allergic reactions in the past. The FDA cautioned there could be adverse reactions as the vaccine was rolled out to many more thousands and eventually millions of people. Up to two people with a history of severe allergies suffered reactions. We were looking at two case reports of allergic reactions. The world's biggest retailer joining the fight against COVID, Walmart prepping more than 5,000 of its store pharmacies to administer the vaccine all across the country. Walmart's one of the many companies, along with CVS and Walgreens, that will vaccinate millions of Americans. They have stores everywhere and, we're told, the necessary freezers. But, they, but do they have enough workers to give you the shot? So the idea we can suddenly stop now because the vaccine's here, it, it would, that would be really premature. Yep. My multi-pass right here. Oh, <laughs> and the risk of this uh, or these vaccines, from what we know, is much less than the risk of the actual disease process. So our, our advice to everyone, on a volunteer basis, our advice to everyone is to take the vaccine. But that was the last Christmas with the grandparents. So again, this is not a firework show. If you look outside, you're not gonna actually see anything around the needle. This is a virtual experience. It's using a technology called sky mapping, which has never been done before. So as you just saw with the whole space needle, and so this is the whole rebirth, the whole reset and us taking part into this new age, this new system, which we call the beast system. So we have the star shown here, and that can mean it's like the Baphomet, um the whole alignment we have with the saturn and jupiter the cube is also representation of what some believe is saturn and saturn represents satan so we got the space needle the cube the dna the whole transformation space being the whole space aspect cyberspace everything space force the needle vaccinations the mutations and everyone evolving into this 
New Age. There will not be a live audience. There won't be the general public. It'll be sealed off. But to make up for that, you're going to be able to experience it in new ways, not just on broadcast TV, but online and through a new New Year's Eve app that you can get on all the app stores, NYE app. And you'll be able to create your own avatar, make it an interactive experience, see the live music that's being performed, and even choose the camera angles that you want to see. And if you own an Amazon smart home device like an Echo or Dot or a Fire Cube or some Ring camera devices, listen to this story. This is very important. Amazon rolling out what's called Amazon Sidewalk, a setting that will automatically share some of your own personal Wi-Fi bandwidth with your neighbor neighborhood. And now privacy experts are saying, wait a minute. My recommendation to everybody is to turn it off. They're really asking you to take on too much risk to have those features. Remember, this feature automatically enrolls you. So how do you opt out if that's your choice? So not only is it coming from the Internet of Things and big corporations, but also military and the physical expectations. We've got an exclusive look at one of the military's latest investments. It's a futuristic combat goggles that give soldiers a brand new way to see the battlefield. Not only can soldiers see in the dark, but they can see now through smoke and even peek around corners. Here's Martha Raddatz. Take a look. It sounds like something out of science fiction. But the futuristic goggles these soldiers are wearing could transform the battlefield. A heads-up display, or HUD for short, allows soldiers to see terrain maps and an overhead compass in real time, helping to clear the fog of war. You have like a little arrow pointing like, hey, go this way. And if it is dark and smoky, no problem. The goggles can see right through it and literally around corners. It's a fighting goggle that's supposed to, you know, really upgrade situational awareness in the way that the men and women of the United States fight. A complex system that is simple to use. You can use a smartphone, you can use a system. It is called IVAS, an acronym for the typically clunky military name for the device, the Integrated Visual Augmentation System, based on Microsoft's HoloLens that uses holograms as teaching aids. IVAS is designed as a fighting goggle. The future is here. This is going to fundamentally change the way we do business in the United States military. Now they just want to completely shut us down. And with that, I mean, literally shut everything off. And this will be the blackout programming. And they want to manifest it here. And you can only guess what they really would do in the shadow of night. Kirsten, how concerned are you that beyond being cyber ready, we're not at all cyber ready? In fact, many, many private and public you know, agencies and companies have been hacked on and continue to be at risk from this. Well, this attack is certainly concerning and we're still in the discovery phase of understanding what has happened. But what we know is that it's far reaching. Uh, I think recently we heard somebody talk about the blast radius of this attack being far worse than anything that we've seen a senior official from government. And we're, as we're figuring all of this out, we have to be prepared to know that the adversary is on our networks. And while we're remediating, we also have to be operating. And that puts us in a very challenging position. Who is best positioned to get to the bottom of this, Kirsten, and to you know, out the malware, as it were, if possible? It's a great question because it's really one of the uh, emerging themes that has come from this, this event, which is the fact that the answer is the public and the private sector. So the United States government, in collaboration with industry, has to do that. They have to do this together. Uh, not, not one sector or the other can do it by itself. Uh, one of the things that's improved over the last few years is we see now that the private sector has actionable intelligence in cyberspace that government doesn't have, but government has the resources to bear against nation state activity. So the recovery, the response, the remediation has to be done uh, with industry government collaboration. The president's silence on this has been deafening, uh, but the good news is, is that there are workers in uh, the, the Department of Homeland Security, in the National Security Agency, the defense infrastructure within government that are working tirelessly at this, as well as industry. Industry is working with government. So we're not losing time, but it will certainly help to have leadership on this issue because cybersecurity is a priority. And if there is 
one, uh, if there's a silver lining to all of this, it's that make no mistake that we have got to uh, put our resources together to focus on cybersecurity for ne the next year and for the future as a priority for the administration. And as we enter this new year, 2021, we will see them talk more about food shortages. There is a war and it is taking place and creeping around and it will come knocking on our doors. And this will be the time for us to prepare and be ready. Last night, France closed its border with the UK over concerns about the new coronavirus variant. The closure brought trucks to a standstill and stranded drivers. UK supermarkets have begun stockpiling food amid fears of shortages on essential supplies. To Christmas and millions of Americans are going hungry. 